I'm Mr. Animal Off. Um, I was doing my animal project on uh, my animal's respiratory system. Is what I chose, and I'm doing a video. Um, I wasn't sure if it was supposed to be YouTube or something like that, or like a screen record, but I thought it would be better if I just kind of explained it in like a presentation. So, um, my animal is the electric eel, also known as the electrophorus electris. Um, it is classified as a fish, so it has gills, and that's how it breathes. In uh, simpler terms, um, a the gills in a fish are um, kind of just little organs, kind of look like feathers, or a lot of them, and they're full of blood vessels. And then the fish uh, breathes by taking in this water filled with oxygen and it forces it through the different passages of the small passages of the gills. And as the water passes through the thin walls, um, the dissolved oxygen will then move into the, the blood and travels through the fish's cells and bloodstream. But I'll talk more about that um, and how it relates to the circulatory system of a fish. But um, to relate more to electric eels specifically, they live in the Amazon or just in any murky streams where they're like protected from predators um, where they like to be but since they're in these dirty waters um, there is a low amount of oxygen so they are they have adapted over time to be able to be obligatory breathers sorry which means they have to come up for air every now and then because of the um, oxygen deficient waters that they uh, have to survive in even though they, they can survive underwater they just still have to come up um, and just talking about the major structures of a of an eel, um, let me find my, um, the major structures for the eel, um, or for the respiratory system is to, of course, uh, have a gas exchange. Um, it also, the respiratory system also helps regulatory, the, the reg, helps with regulation of the blood pH. Um, and then it also just helps protect them from any bad, uh, microorganisms in the waters that they have to breathe and prevent it from coming into the bloodstream and doing any harm. And that part is really important and why gills are there is important because the waters can be really dirty, um, where the electric eels live. So talking more about the gills in the animal, um, they, their main job is to mediate the gas exchange. They're located on the sides of its head, kind of like on the cheeks. And as we said, they're made of the little um, the filaments is the more scientific term. And uh, they take up a pretty bit large amount of uh, space in its head. Um, the process of it taking in oxygen is it'll open its mouth um, the oral cavity lowers, the water will enter, then the fish will close its mouth, and then the water enters the gills, um, uh, where it will then, uh, kind of be processed into the bloodstream. Um, I have a diagram, but I think it'll be hard to show, so I'm gonna include the video on a, on a PDF or something, and then include an image of the diagram. But basically, uh, the water will flow in. There's something called the gill arch because the gills are just kind of like zigzags, right? And then in these zigzags, there's like little sticks, which are the blood vessels. And um, water will flow through these uh, gills, which are long feathers. And um, uh, as we relate to the circulatory system, uh, the water will, or the gills will help dissolve the oxygen that the water has. It'll cycle out all that water. And then just like humans, the oxygen rich blood will go to the heart and the other important, the brain, the important parts of the fish. And then the, uh, the blood with less oxygen will um, uh, flow to the other parts of the fish's body that don't need the um, oxygen-rich blood. 
Um, and I was also going to label the diagram uh, with like more in-depth descri descriptions, but as I said, it's kind of hard. Um, but the gills are the main functions uh, or the main structures of the respiratory system, just like we have lungs. Um, they provide as the lungs. So that's, that's what I had. Uh, I hope you learn more about my animal. Um, I had fun researching this, but...